All right, let's talk about CSST, corrugated stainless steel tubing. This is a flexible gas line that's installed a lot these days, and it's not inherently problematic, but it can be a problem when it's not properly grounded. And so what happens is that if this gas line becomes energized because it's such a thin material, it's been known to be pierced by lightning strikes. Well, if it gets pierced, well, then you have a spark with a pressurized gas line, and that's not a good thing. That actually happened in Lubbock a few years ago, and a house basically blew up because this gas line was pierced through by a lightning strike. And so the important thing is that it be properly bonded and grounded. What that does is it directs any energy that comes into this gas line and it sends it back to the earth through a ground rod and a ground wire. Now we see in this example that there is a ground wire installed on the right side of the regulator clamped to the gas line, which is good to see. That means everything on this side of the regulator is bonded and grounded properly. But the problem comes in with these regulators because a lot of these regulators have plastic fittings. And so if it has a plastic fitting, that means that the electrical connection between one side of the regulator and the other side of the regulator is actually broken because of the plastic fitting. So that could mean that everything on this side is bonded and grounded, but it could mean everything on this side is not bonded and grounded and is prone to being pierced from lightning strikes. So the solution here is to do exactly what we see here. We see the bond wire being clamped to the right side, and then it comes over here to the left side, and it's clamped somewhere on the other side of this regulator like it is here on the end. And that's good. And that establishes an electrical connection between this side of the regulator and this side of the regulator. And that means that everything on both sides of the regulator is properly bonded and grounded as it should be. And that's important to me because I don't want anyone's house to blow up. It's also why I recommend that an electrician evaluate any CSST to make sure that it is properly bonded and grounded. For more information about CSST and how you can stay protected, visit the link in the description at brennantealfoundation.org where you can learn more about the situation in Lubbock as well. This is Alan with House to Home Inspection Services and housetohomeinspector.com.